Ailey, congratulations, another global medal for you. And I think, as you were saying, you started these championships collecting one, and then you're collecting one <laughs> in the last night. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad haul. Yeah, not bad. And it's, it's nice to obviously get the silver medal on that night and be able to do that lap of honour on that night with the, with the correct medal colour. So, yeah, absolutely over the moon. I mean, we, we knew it was always going to be tough to try and get a medal, you know, in this 4x4. It was going to be very close. Obviously, we knew the Americans were the favourite, but the rest of the field was very close. So, to come away with a silver is, you know, it's better than we expected, and we're just all over the moon. And when you see the Jamaican get injured, you're obviously thinking but you've still got to get it around you've still got to run well, the race. Well I actually had no clue like you're so kind of focused on your own performance and I was obviously just concentrating on where Lavia was and making sure that I delivered you know a good leg that it was only when, when we crossed the line and Emily finished that I actually realised what had happened in the race so you know um, but that's it you know that's what happens in athletics we've seen it especially in this champs that anything can happen and yeah thankfully we we all got around safely you know and we managed to get that silver medal. And I'm hoping I've got this right but I think it might be your 15th international medal I'm not, I'm not sure either. <laughs> I need to go back and count them, but I think you might be right, yeah. It must make you very proud. It does, yeah, it does. You know, it's just, it's, it's excellent. Any opportunity to obviously win a, a global medal is, is just incredible. And, and, you know, it does get harder, you know, the, the further you get in your career. So, yeah, it's, it's amazing that I've got another one to add to the collection. And the, the relays have been good to you in a sense of picking you up sometimes after a disappointment. Was that the case this week after yeah, the 400 hurdles final? Honestly, it's a perfect medicine. I think, you know, being with the girls, you know, they're, they're so supportive and they all pick you up. And, and, you know, we all had our own kind of individual, you know, performances here. And, you know, to, to then all come together and, and go and do it as a team it's just it's such a nice atmosphere it's such you know the morale's great and everybody just wants everybody to do well and, and yeah it was lovely to to have the opportunity to do a laugh on her and share it with the rest of the team and what about zoe because uh, a young you know a young athlete she 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 started the season with a really good run in loughborough mm -hmm. is that something maybe that our younger athletes can take encouragement from yeah definitely i mean i always used to run at loughborough as well and it was always a really good race at the start of the season to kind of see where you are and that was you know zoe obviously got great confidence from that race that just carried on throughout the whole season and you know she's come here and you know it's our first major championships but she's been here like she's been here for years you know she stood out there she belonged she was composed and confident when she ran and yeah she's done absolutely brilliantly and especially to go and run the first leg of a four by four you know in your in your first majors it's a it's a tough call and she just went out there and delivered so uh, yeah i'm super proud of her